It's 7 p.m. right now, and I'm on my way to my very first Smash Brothers Ultimate Tournament. I got invited by my friend Dale. I'm really excited. I was really apprehensive to start making this vlog, but something inside told me to make this, whether I win or lose. And it's a good practice of not having any expectation and just enjoying the game. So I woke up this morning, did yoga practice. After that, I went to get a colonic. I always share in my vlog because I always get so much benefits from it. It's so, it's so good to clean the inside of your body as well as you clean the outside. Kind of a workout because you're like squeezing your stomach muscles for a really long period of time. Yeah, it's just kind of uncomfortable. The way I feel after is always so light. I feel like I could jump 10 feet higher. <laughs> Played a couple warm-up games with my friend Zach online, and I'm, I'm feeling really confident. I'm practicing a lot, <laughs> spending a lot of hours on the games. Okay, here we are, Press Start Gaming Center. I don't think. Hey. Oh, they got DDR here. Nice. Hi, here's the bracket. There is so much Smash Brothers going on right now. Just lost the first round of the tournament. So lame. Man, sometimes I get, I like do so well when I'm at home. Once I get in front of people and, and the pressure's on, it's just, uh, damn. Good thing this is a double elimination, so there's gonna be a, a loser's bracket as well. And hopefully I can regain my title. <laughs> Tomorrow. Good morning, afternoon, internet. It's 3 p.m. on a Friday. The kids are just getting out of school right now. It's been, it's been like a day or two since the Smash Brothers tournament, since my awful defeat. I feel like I got checked. <laughs> thinking in my mind, I'm like, if I really want to become a really good Smash Brothers player, I'm gonna have to invest so much of my time into this, and it would actually become like a grind, you know, like going, having to go to the gym to build your muscle. You have to like actually play the game to like build muscle memory and just really work on it and study techniques, and I was just thinking to myself, I don't know if I want to get that serious with it. I know I want to just like be a casual, fun player that's above, I don't want to say above average, I want to be the best. <laughs> <laughs> but for a part of me just playing so much the past past month and a half I just like I don't know if I really want to be spending my whole life doing this No, it's just interesting that I could just do something for so long and then just finally like, you know get over it So I, I, I'm glad I got it out of my system and I feel a lot better now I'm still gonna play Smash Brothers, but just you know not as excessively and not so seriously I do want to go to another tournament again soon because I want to go back and make a redemption <laughs> But right now I'm heading to yoga class. That's what I'm doing right now. Eventually. I feel much more clear now. Every time. Guaranteed every single time after practice. I feel just wonderful. Like back back to zero, back to baseline. But um, yeah, I wanted to say a couple things. I got back to Las Vegas on the 16th of December and it is now February, like February 7th. Oh, happy birthday, Rudy, my stepdad, my yogi stepdad. February 8th today. It's been almost like 50 days since I've been practicing yoga, minus the one day that I did the ceremony with Trinity in San Diego. But other than that, it's just been 50 days just practicing yoga, taking good care of my body, eating well, and playing a lot of video games. And and you know, like I told myself when I was like super busy in Thailand that I was gonna finish all my work. I can just take some time off and enjoy the video games. I was experiencing myself playing the video games and there would be like definitely pure moments of complete presence and joy and just like fully enjoying the moment. And then there would also be moments where like I would feel some sort of like shame or like guilt that I'm not being productive. And that comes from like, I don't know, maybe like an overachiever mindset or like just constantly having to be doing something. And I really like, to be totally honest, I was, I probably fully enjoyed maybe 50, 60% of the time that I've been at home because the other 40, 50% of it, I was just wondering if I should be doing something. And I already set my goals. I made a to-do list when I came back from Thailand that I wanted to make my business cards. I wanted to make my website, which I did both of those. And I made my year in review and I made my demo reel. Those were huge accomplishments that I that I worked so hard on and I'm so glad I did. But there was still a part of me that was like, you really need to get some stuff done, Gabe. And I'm like, what do I need to get done? I cleared all my hard drives out and I just did everything I need to do and I wasn't like seeking out any kind of work. And I wasn't like looking for jobs or anything, but you know, I just felt like there was, um, I guess, slight laziness to what I was doing. But there was no reason because, like, I would look at 
it in from, from another perspective and I'd be like, I was so busy this year. I went to so many places. The total amount of time that I spent at home in 2018 was like less than a month. I remember coming home for like one day at a time, two days, less than a week. And I only have just like a moment to like relax for a second and then always wanting to be at home and enjoy myself. So like this was my opportunity to like enjoy and relax. And it's so crazy because I've been like reading The Power of Now, having really consistent morning practice and meditation. So it's not like I'm not I'm like withering away and like being lazy. But there's just a part of me that feels that I need to be doing something or like producing of some sort. I thought it was cool because it led me to picking up the camera to talk about this right now today. Like I'm like feeling that I need to produce and then I can talk about how I feel the need to produce, but you know. Whoa, that wasn't me. Driving a vlog and I'm like, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, so I was just feeling feeling the, the the lack of productivity and stuff, and then I'm just gonna turn the, this light off so I'm not suspicious or anything. Me, Jeannie, and Dalton were like having morning coffee and just chilling outside. Jeannie was just sharing with me how busy she was and how she hasn't had a day off and how she just wished that she had just a one day for herself. She like pulled out her calendar and she was she had like photo video gigs booked all week like multiple and like shooting and editing and she just like hasn't had any time to really get any rest or sleep this past week and take care of just like her sleep schedule and just really burning herself out and I'm like looking at her and it was funny because I felt envious that she had so much to do and I had so little to do and she wanted she just wanted one day for herself and I was like man I just feel like maybe if I had some work to do I would feel better and I just really zoomed out for a second and I was like man that's just the that's just the human nature of everything right that's just like humans no matter where we are or what we're at it's like we always want something else so that's like the key is to be happy with what you already have it's like the oh there was that song only only lover when you let her go everything that you have is like you want what the other person has or you only want it when it's not there it's just a lesson to be here and be present and just enjoy what's here today, right now. It makes so much sense. It feels good to get that thought out. It's really been like kind of going back and forth in my mind. I'm like, oh, I should be vlogging. I'm like, I have nothing to really vlog about except for me playing Smash Brothers. you way better now, now that I've gotten that out. And thank you guys for listening to me rant and stuff. Sorry, the adventures have not been crazy. I've been wanting to just chill and do me and just to relax and recharge. And that's what I've been doing and it's been fucking awesome. <laughs> So two days from now, February 10th, wait, is it the 8th today? It is the 8th. Okay, so in two days, I'm heading over to Utah, Salt Lake City, up north, because I'm meeting up with my friend Abel to shoot some video for a couple days. I'm heading down to Taylorsville, where I'm having a peyote ceremony on the 15th, and I'll be spending some time with my peyote friends. Yes, so good to recharge. And then I'll be driving up through Utah, through Idaho, and up to Washington to see my sister and Andrew. And then I'll be going into a silent Vipassana retreat on the 27th, which I'm also super, super, super nervous and excited about. I'm gonna be sitting in complete silence for 10 days, not talking, just absolutely nothing for 10 days. Completely unplugging. It's gonna feel so good. I'm really scared, but it's always really good. So yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on. You guys will probably see the next vlog when I hop on this road trip. I'm just gonna continue living my home life for the next couple days with my roommates, and then I'll be on my way up to Washington. All right, love you guys a long time. Um, see you in the next one.